Hey, what's up everybody? Brent for Brent Speed. Thanks for watching Brent Speed TV. This is our first video of 2023. We're going to start it off right with a 19 GT350 Whipple Supercharge, some other mods. As always, we're going to go take a look, but something different we're going to do today is a lot of you ask, will you overlay and show us like the full graph over the stock graph so we can really see the differences? We are going to take time after we watch the dyno pull to look at that. So hey, if you haven't, please subscribe and notify us up to date. We put out almost 100 videos last year. Go look around our channel. I'm sure you'll find something you like. Let's go check it out. All right, my all-time favorite, 19 GT350 with the Whipple. I have Doug with me. Let's go down, take a look. So we have the Gen 5 Whipple Supercharger. We did install a set of stainless works, long tube headers. Now, a lot of you might have questions about these parts. You know, you can always leave a comment, but check the description. I will put links to them. That's how you check out pricing. We did bill of oil pump gears, the large Adler radiator, rear cylinder head cooling kit. What's it cost to get installed? Simply email quote at brinspeed.com. But there it is right there. Awesome setup for the street. Check out this dyno pool. All right, these are killer numbers because remember, this is the Whipple calibration, 93 octane. Doug, take a look. So we have a baseline and we have with the Whipple. Baseline, 462, roll horsepower peaking at 7,000. We got 788, rear wheel Dynojet SAE peaking at 7,900. Torque stock was 391. And then with the Whipple, 602 at 5,700 peaking. Mm -hmm. Now what we're gonna do is, uh, Doug, go ahead and like show this spread right here. But I wanna do a little bit of clicking and we are going to look at like individual RPM ranges so you can basically like get a better feel for like different RPMs and the gains. So we'll start at about 4,000 RPM. So stock, 4,000, 287 roll horsepower with the blower or 392. So we're up over 100 right there. Torque stock, 377. Really nice jump already because of the instant boost. 515 torque at 4,000. So let's just maybe look at like 5,500 right here. Whipple, 625 rural horsepower at 5,500. Stock, we're at 398. And then the torque, 597 with the blower, 380 stock. So already 200 more torque right there. Horsepower is coming in awesome. But now we'll go up to about 7,500 RPM, which is where we're, you know, maxed out pretty much, naturally aspirated, 458 NA. 769 with the blower 300 more rural horsepower right there that's killer torque 321 stock 539 with the blower huge difference so there it is a lot of you have been asking you know hey man can you spend a little bit more time showing the whole graph well that's for you so one more look at the 19 350 love these cars they're so awesome man i gotta tell you, you have one of these Put a Whipple on there, put the Whipple Cal, run 93 octane or, you know, premium fuel. You can run 91, make more power with the 93, but just a sweet setup for the street and that graph shows it. So I'm Brent. Have questions, leave a comment. Happy to answer. Thanks for watching.